Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this Badger applique pattern. So this is one block in the Woodland Critters applique quilt pattern. That is a pattern that includes a whole bunch of different animals, but it's also available just on its own as the Badger pattern. So you can get either one of those uh, options at shinyhappyworld.com, and here's how to make them. All right, I've got all the pieces ready to assemble this badger block. Um, this is the video showing how to put them together if you don't have a light box. And in that situation, you will need all of these guidelines, these dotted lines that are on the paper side of your pattern. So you're gonna to wanna to transfer those lines to the fabric side so that you can see them. We are gonna start with the shoulders. So I, um, all the blocks in this quilt that I'm making are snapshot style, which means that I'm imagining that I'm taking a picture of this badger. So he has more body, it's just not showing because it's not in the photo. So I've got those, I've got the flat edge at the bottom of his shoulders lined up with the flat edge at the bottom of the block. If you want yours to be emoji style floating in the middle, then uh, just leave the shoulder piece off. Next up, we are gonna put the head into place. And this is a very odd looking piece, but it will all make sense. And we just want to set the head down so that it covers up that line that I transferred there. That way I know I've got good overlap. So let's go ahead and get these uh, eye stripes in. We've got one on this side, and you're just going to line it up so that the stripe lines up with the edge of the head there and covers up all of our markings. And it should, it should, leave, um, it should leave these whiskers sticking out past the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on this side. This last point of the whisker should get covered up, the whiskers, the, the little floofy sides to his face. There we go. All right, now, just to make sure I've got that placement right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the nose piece in and make sure that I didn't uh, move these pieces too far apart or anything weird like that. So the nose piece should cover both of those ends, and it does, good, yay. Okay, now we're gonna tuck the ears in place, and the ears just get tucked behind the head. And you try and do it without moving all these pieces. There we go. One of the advantages of using a light box is that you lay them down from the bottom up and you never have to tuck pieces behind existing pieces. But right now, all of those pieces are giving me guidance about where these guys go. Push this one over just a little bit. All right, now I've got badgers have white tips to their ears, but they have dark in the middle of their ears. So we've got another piece of ear here that's going to get tucked behind there. And I'm just going to pull this back because I don't want that little sliver of white showing there. There we go. I had just bumped that at some point. And now we need to get the dark inner ear on this side of his ear. Works well. Just tuck that in just a little bit more. All right, now all we need to do is put his eyes in place. And there we go. All right, I'm going to carefully. Pick this up, 
carry it over to my ironing board, press it all in place, just follow the instructions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you are using. I use Heat and Bond Light in all of my quilts. And then I'll do all of the outline stitching on him and bring him back here and show you the finished block and also show you another color option that I did. And here is the finished badger block. All of the outline stitching is done and I added some catch lights to his eyes just with a little dot of white fabric paint in them. And there's a, a link in the pattern to a video showing how to do that. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about the fabrics for him. So this is the sample that I used in the quilt that you're seeing on the cover of the Woodland Critters applique pattern. And all of the blocks on that sample used avocado blenders for the background blocks, different shades of avocado. And it's a fabric collection that I have available on Spoonflower. And then all of the animals in that sample use uh, blenders from the Animal Kingdom color palette, which are all realistic animal colors. I've got a different option that I wanted to show you. So this one also for the badger uses colors from the Animal Kingdom palette, so realistic badger color, but instead of that green background, I've given it a pastel orange. This is actually cantaloupe. This is from the Farmer's Market collection, and this is uh, one of the blocks that's available with the quilting lines actually printed on the fabric, so you just follow along on the sewing machine. And I have one more total fantasy version so this is a series that I'm working on, a collection that's gonna be a, a quilt that where the background blocks, instead of the animals being from the Animal Kingdom palette, all of the background blocks are from the Animal Kingdom collection. So they'll all be realistic, neutral colors. And then each of the animals on the, in this quilt are using colors from the farmer's market, blenders from the farmer's market collection, and each animal is monochrome. So it's all different shades of one color. And for most of them, I'm using this gingham combined with this dot. I call this one spilled cereal, and this one is almost gingham. So for, most, for almost all of the ones in that quilt, I'm using just those two prints. So you can see that you don't need to have multiple shades of the same color to get a nice looking block. You can also even just use two shades, a dark and a light. So I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this is the Badger Pattern.